Warning. This video contains nicotine consumption and sometimes tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical and tobacco may cause gum disease or tooth loss. Please, do not try this at home. Yep, I think I'm good. It's my quarantine stock up, dog. Who's gonna beat me, dog? Who's gonna beat me? The deck is this? Skull. Cool, Spearmint. What the f- Ow! I got zippers on these knees, man. Freaking kids these days making these pants with zippers on the knees. What the? Oh, so. What's cracking, y'all? Yeah, I really did actually stock up. And this is all different types of stuff. Last week was a little bored. Went on a couple websites and was like, you know what, I'm gonna do some digging. I'm gonna basically just order everything that I haven't had. Some of this stuff I have had, but a lot of it I haven't. And I just ordered a bunch of different stuff. Some of, some of it you guys know, some of it you're probably like, wait, what in the dick is that? We got a bunch of good stuff, man. We got a bunch of snoops. We got a bunch of new American tobacco that hasn't been done yet. A bunch of chewing tobacco. There's a bunch of stuff to do, man. So, that being said, what's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, so, I basically dumped that box out and I looked inside and I said, what in the tits am I gonna do today? Because I have a job. And that's to entertain people. That is what I was born to do. I feel like, right? At least that's what my shaman told me. So my job being to entertain, and while all of you are stuck at home, not able to do anything, well, I'm sure some of you still have to work because you have essential jobs. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I got an essential job too! So I'm staying home. Hashtag stay home. Follow me on Instagram, dude. What's in this stuff? So I picked out Skull Kill Spearmint today. Whoa, sorry about that. Look at that freaking can, dude. What in the world? Yeah, I'm dipping Skull again. A lot of you guys are gonna be asking like, dude, um, Skull Copenhagen, same company. Um, you know, US Smokeless, you know, owned by Altria. You know, they took down your friend's vidges. You know, they told you to skedaddle pretty much. What are you doing dipping Skull, bro? I'm Devin Skull again, man. It's just the way it happens. Before I get into that full story, if you guys notice, I set up a bunch of stuff in this background. We got some lights, dude. We got some lights. You know what's crazy about these lights? I, I just wanted to make it a little bit different from last time, you know? And and then I got these doors here. I don't know what to do. I was thinking maybe hanging some flags. If you guys got any ideas of what I can put over these doors because they're just white. And then I got all the mud jugs set back up. Got some memorabilia, all the signs. We got stuff all around the room. You obviously can't see on video, but with these lights, dude. Check this out, man. So we're doing Skull cool spearmint today it's like a light blue right it's like an ocean light blue all right let's try to match this color here we go you ready Ooh, i think that's close i think it just needs to go a little lighter there we go dude look at that man forget 20s bro ha yeah we're gonna do that every vision now man i'm so special can't believe that, man. We're almost 30 years old. I'm getting excited about lights on my shelf for doing YouTube videos about dip. <laughs> What's wrong with my life? <laughs> this Skull Cool Spearmint is brand new. It's not brand new. I have heard of it, um, but it is somewhat newer. It's uh, the Cool Spearmint. I don't know if they're still selling regular Spearmint, but... Oh my goodness. That right there is straight up gum, dude. That's straight up toothpaste or gum. That's like you're about to chew five gum. Wow. Sorry about that, man. Just uh, bad habits. <laughs> there she blows, ladies and gentlemen. Just the regular skull cut there, bud. I'm gonna toss in a rub, eh? Oh, the smell of this brings me back to the old days. My body Pistol Pete used to dip skull spearmint in high school, man. Make me frickin'. I actually dipped Skull Spearmint quite a bit back in high school, allegedly. A little bit of a finer cut Skull is here with this guy. Get us a nice little pinchy right there. A little dry, a little dry. Wow. All right, there we go. First dip of the day for me. Wow, that's for sure like freaking gum. But here's the deal. They say this is cool Spearmint so far. This tastes exactly just like regular Skull Spearmint. I'm hoping this ain't like actual Spearmint and they just renamed it Cool Spearmint. But right now it tastes very much like that. Let's let her sit for a sec. My drug of the day 
is actually a very low one. Oh, what is that, Thor right there? This is the Avengers Roadie. Of course, the roadie that fits in your freaking cup holder. This is the Avengers version. We got Hulk on there. You got everybody. Fits in your cup holder. Perfect for your truck or whatever. Oh, it's good, baby. There's only like uh, 10 of these guys left, and there's a bunch of other mud jugs that are super low on stop that are on sale right now. Mudjug.com. Check them out. Link in the description box. It's time for a mud jug minute. When two skull dippers get together. Hi, what's up, Kyle? What's up, Chad? Ha, oh, dude. Hey, what are you spending? Oh, just a new Monster Hydra, bro. Oh, freaking nice, what man. What are you spending, bro? I got that Arby's cop, dude. You want to spit through the straw? I'm a freaking proud. I don't want my dad to find out that I did. He'll take uh, away my freaking truck. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Chow, bro. Yeah, what's up, dude? Chow. <laughs> <laughs> I need something hot. I need something to drink, man. Oh, Billy! Ah, no. Billy! Billy! No. Oh, that's it for a magic minute! So I've had this uh, spearmint in for a couple minutes here. One thing I noticed, it's pretty dry. It's floating. I've got some floaters going around my mouth right now. I could say it's a little bit different than Skull Spearmint, what I've felt before, but the cool spearmint got a tad bit of sweetness on the end, which I don't really remember getting with Spearmint. I remember getting with their mint, especially Copenhagen mint, but we, we ain't talking about that. But for real, let me get into the whole Skull Copenhagen thing and why I'm dipping Skull again, all right? If you guys don't know, let me catch up speed really quick. Last year, maybe a year and a half ago, um, maybe even longer than that, uh, it was the company of Copenhagen, like Copenhagen solely. Obviously, Copenhagen is just a brand and it's under US Smokeless, which is under Atria, and Atria has cigarettes and everything. Copenhagen started taking videos down, started asking for them to be removed from a lot of different channels. It has not happened since they did it their first time. And I went belligerent and freaking got crazy and I was so pissy because it's like it, you're, you're, sh you're telling people to not put a review up of your product, even if it's a good review. The funny thing is they took all the videos down from good reviews. Like it was good reviews of their product and they're taking them down. I didn't get it, right? Like who the, what do you think they're, you're gonna get in trouble? Like it, it, they're not even underage people that are reviewing your product and you're still taking their videos down. I didn't get it. And they were good reviews, which is weird. So I basically took a stance and said, you know what, I'm not dipping that anymore. And I am done promoting their product. Whatever, right? So a year and a half or whatever's gone by, I haven't heard anything else. They haven't done it since. I think that I tweeted out Tria like crazy. I emailed people. I was, I've talked to this. I probably shouldn't say that. I've talked to a lot of people in this business, including people that work with Skull and Copenhagen. And I'm like, I, like, this is unacceptable. And ever since then, nothing has happened. Nothing's happened whatsoever. Nobody's been had their videos taken down anymore. I think they learned their lesson. I think they listen to us and freaking shut up about it. Cause what the dick dude, we're freaking helping you. You know what I'm saying? So fuck it. I'm not gonna hold a grudge forever. I'm not gonna burn bridges, even though I probably already did. <laughs> but uh, we're dipping this skull cool spirit today. I'm not a huge fan of this right now. I picked this up, I saw it online. I was like, ooh, I haven't had that yet. Now, there's some interesting stuff about this because if I remember correctly, this came out in 2020, it came out last year and like, I don't know, it was like, April or May of 2019, because I remember when it came out, a couple of people were telling me, hey, hey, this this is, this is new thing is out, right? I'm pr I, 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 listen, I should have done my research beforehand, but I'm pretty sure, I'm just going off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure that they discontinued regular Spearmint and they went with cool Spearmint to kind of like fix all the issues that people had with the, with the original Spearmint, because a lot of people didn't like it. It was dry, which this is still kind of dry. I'm, it, it's very choppy in your mouth and gritty. It's not very soft. I mean, it's soft, but it's not, it's, it's, it's very flaky and gritty. I, I'm not a big fan of that. But what this reminds me of, I just got it, is that they had Skull, they came out with the Extra Series, of, with Skull, they came out with an Extra Series, Skull Extra Mint Chill, I'm pretty sure it was called. You might put a picture up here and if you guys remember that. I don't think they make the Extra Series anymore, and I think that's what this cool spearmint might be. I think it might be a, a like a direct reintroduction of that Skull Extra Mint Chill, because it tastes very similar and like almost exact. I don't think they have the regular spearmint anymore. I'm pretty much, it's just skull, it's just this cool spearmint. Now, I am not, I don't even think I've seen this in my actual stores around me, so it might just be in select areas, you know, wherever they see that dips spearmint the, the most. But in high school, or you know, back in, back in the old days, <laughs> we used to dip this spearmint quite a bit because they had it everywhere. The mint was just too much, too overpowering. The spearmint had a little bit of sweetness to it back in the day. But I remember like, 
after like a month, it was just like, okay, this is gross. I can't even see the smell of it anymore. Whenever I opened it up earlier, I was like, whoa, I don't know about this. It's bringing back memories I don't want to don't want to remember. But they have made a little bit of an improvement with the sweetness. This, there is a hint of sweetness on the back end, which is nice. But the grittiness of the dip and the it's a little bit more fine cut. Like it's it's definitely not a long cut. You can you can see in here. It's definitely more fine than than usual. So it's almost like a mid cut. Kind of like Copenhagen Black used to be back in the day. So I'm not a huge fan of that. The juiciness is okay. I remember the, the old Skull Spearmint was actually pretty dry altogether. They seem to fix a few things in this guy. So it's not horrible, but it's definitely something that a select few of people around the United States would dip. Uh, I don't see this as an everyday dip for a lot of people, like the wintergreen flavor would be or something like that. But I'm not a fan of, of Skull's flavors as of much. I'm not gonna hate on them completely because they have more flavors than a lot of people. But the, the thing about Skull's flavors is they're super artificial. This one, doesn't feel as artificial as like their cherry, their citrus, their berry and stuff like that that I always talk crap on kind of as a joke. This one, you know, that sweetness definitely helps it not being an artificial taste, you know? All in all, if you guys got this in your area, you can try it if you had the old school spearmint before, but if you're not a mint guy or a spearmint guy, maybe uh, maybe this isn't for you, but hey, maybe you want to, maybe you like chewing gum and you like spearmint gum and you like that little bit of sweetness in the gum, but you're not a huge mint guy, like you don't want that overpowering breath of freshness, then maybe skull spearmint will be for you. That's just my opinion, if you don't like it, apologize. Ah, so, uh, I wanted to ask you guys a question real quick. I got this big box of dip, right? This big old, what's in the box? Got this big old box of dip, and if you guys notice on the floor, I've got bags upon bags upon bags upon bags upon, holy dick, I just gave myself a cardboard cut. Oh my goodness gracious. It's bleeding already, guys. Oh, oh, that hurts. I hope this box didn't come from China. Dang that. Bags upon bags upon bags upon bags upon bags upon freaking bags. I've got so much freaking chewing tobacco, I don't even know what to do with that. Look at that, dude. Guys, I was a little bored, as you can see. And I thought it'd be kind of cool, you know, during this quarantine time, you guys are bored sitting home, not doing nothing. I was like, man, what if I did a vid on each one of these, trying to find out what the best chewing tobacco ever made is. Because chewing tobacco is basically, it's pretty much strict to America. I'm not talking about twist tobacco or anything like that, because that's just straight up tobacco leaves twisted pretty much, which never been a giant fan. I mean, I like tobacco and everything, but just straight tobacco with that molasses flavor in it, I'm not, you know, it's not great. But I've got a mountain of freaking chewing tobacco here, all fresh, all ready to go. What do you guys think? You let me know in the comments below. Should I go ahead? and just do a freaking whatever this is, 10, 12 part series on finding the best chewing tobacco out there. If you guys wanna, if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments below. Ah, well, I hope you guys like the new freaking setup, man. I got some lights back here. Maybe we'll make it a little bit cooler, you know what I'm saying? Since we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff in here, since we're quarantined, uh, let me know if there's any changes you guys wanna see. I do have a bunch of outlaw dip cans. Maybe we'll make a little dip tower up here or something like that of straight up outlaw dip, you know? <laughs> Can't be showing this competition. Oh wait, what am I doing right now? Get your priorities right, dude. Also, 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 thank you guys for the support on the music video that I put up quarantine. Worked very hard on it. Worked very hard on it, all for it to be demonetized. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Bunch of crap going on behind the scenes again. I don't know what's going on. It's funny now. It's funny how my, I'm just, I'll just get into this really quick. It's funny now. My YouTube has transitioned into, I do a video on, you know, whatever we're doing like right now on uh, reviews on different products and stuff. Those are fine now. You know, once I added a warning label and, and warning people like what they're about to watch, right? But like a music video that's meant to spread positivity, that's meant to spread um, cheer and uh, put a smile on people's faces, for some reason gets demonetized and suppressed. A lot of people still saying they can't find it. A lot of people saying, why is it doing so bad? That's all I can tell you guys. I've been working on it and a bunch of BS going on. So whatever, we're gonna keep on freaking rolling, man. If there's one thing I know I can do, it's keep on freaking rolling, baby. Lip biscuit style, dog. Here's a little bit of advice. Every day, bad shit happens. Every single morning I wake up, something bad happens. Every day, everybody's life. Something bad happens every day. You're not gonna have a perfect day every day. Am I gonna sit there and freaking cry and complain and oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I'm just not gonna make a bitch anymore. It's not even worth it. No, dude. 
This is what I love to do. And it's just gonna make me work harder and work smarter to make sure that I can still continue to do what I love to do every single day. And not just this, but I just wanna freaking, dude, I'm bringing back the podcast, man. I'm bringing back the podcast because I just wanna freaking ramble. I just wanna talk. I wanna communicate with y'all. I wanna still go do my hunting and fishing trips and throw that stuff up on Live the Thrill. There's a lot of stuff out there that I post and it's like, it just gets suppressed because it's, you know, I'm not the typical YouTuber that they like to push, right? Even though I've been here for a long time, it's like they're just trying to push me out. But guess what, bitch? I'm like herpes, I ain't going away, though. With that being said, even with everything that's going on, keep working hard, ladies and gentlemen. I love y'all. Skull Cool Spearmint! Ah! I'll give it a five out of 10. Not too bad, not my style, but for some of you minty guys out there that want a little bit of sweetness, maybe it's for you. We'll see you on the freaking dip side. My name is Outlaw, and I'm out y'all. 25 8, 366 no matter what you're doing. Keep a freaking hell bad. I'm in quarantine. It's day three of 30. Eating beans, sipping lean, reading all the memes. All the memes, yeah. All the memes.